subscribe to my channel click on bell icon to get notification about new video cell division an essential life process cell division is one of the very important properties of cells and living organisms due to this property only a new organism is formed from existing one a multicellular organism grows up an emaciated body can be restored there are two types of cell division as mitosis and meiosis mitosis occurs in somatic cells and stem cells of the body whereas meiosis occurs in germ cells before study of cell division we should know the structural organization of cell that we have studied earlier each cell has a nucleus besides other cell organelles are also present let us study the cell division with the help of this information before any type of cell division the cell doubles up its chromosome number present in its nucleus that is if chromosome number is 2n it is doubled up to 4n mitosis somatic cells and stem cells divide by mitosis mitosis is completed through two main steps these two steps are karyokinesis that is nuclear division and cytokinesis that is cytoplasmic division karyokinesis is completed through four steps prophase metaphase anaphase telophase a prophase in prophase condensation of basically thin thread like chromosomes starts due to this they become short and thick and they start to appear along with their pairs of sister chromatids centrioles duplicate and each centriole moves to opposite poles of the cells nuclear membrane and nucleolus start to disappear b metaphase nuclear membrane completely disappears in metaphase chromosomes complete their condensation and become clearly visible along with their sister chromatids all chromosomes are arranged parallel to equatorial plane that is central plane of the cell special type of flexible protein fibers that is spindle fibers are formed between centromere of each chromosome and both centrioles c anaphase in anaphase centromeres split and thereby sister chromatids of each chromosome separate and they are pulled apart in opposite directions with the help of spindle fibers separated sister chromatids are called as daughter chromosomes chromosomes being pulled appear like a bunch of bananas in this way each set of chromosomes reach at two opposite poles of the cell d telophase the chromosomes which have reached at opposite poles of the cell now start to decondense due to which they again become thread like thin and invisible nuclear membrane is formed around each set of chromosomes reached at poles thus two daughter nuclei are formed in a cell nucleolus also appears in each daughter nucleus spindle fibers completely disappear in this way karyokinesis completes and cytokinesis begins the cytoplasm divides by cytokinesis and two new cells are formed which are called as daughter cells in this process a notch is formed at the equatorial plane of the cell which deepens gradually and thereby two new cells are formed however in case of plant cells instead of the notch a cell plate is formed exactly along midline of the cell and thus cytokinesis is completed mitosis is essential for growth of the body 
Besides, it is necessary for restoration of emaciated body, wound healing, formation of blood cells, etc. Meiosis Meiosis is completed through two stages. These two stages are meiosis first, meiosis second. In meiosis first, recombination or crossing over occurs between homologous chromosomes and thereafter those homologous chromosomes, not sister chromatids, are divided into two groups and thus two haploid cells are formed. Meiosis second is just like mitosis. In this stage, the two haploid daughter cells formed in meiosis first undergo division by separation of recombined sister chromatids and four haploid daughter cells are formed. Process of gamete production and spore formation occurs by meiosis. In this type of cell division, four haploid, that is N, daughter cells are formed from one diploid, that is 2N, cell. During this cell division, crossing over occurs between the homologous chromosomes and thereby genetic recombination occurs. Due to this, all the four daughter cells are genetically different from parent cells and from each other too.